In a patient with ptosis, the markings are here at about 7 millimeters, the height of the tarsal plate, the lower incision, and 1 and 2 are the distances between the lower um, brow and the upper limit of the incision. So that's about 21 millimeters. And uh, if the patient has blepharotosis, then you'd have to modify the procedure. In number two, you can see that uh, the skin incision has been made and a strip of arbiclaris also um, goes along with that. And after that, um, you go under the arbiclaris, dissect up to the tarsal plate. So you clear the tarsal plate for some distance in three. In number four, you put a retractor um, with a um, nylon suture. You pull down on the tarsal plate and keep this here on retraction. And so in number five, you dissect under the muscle and uh, till you see the preaponeurotic fat. So this is this section. Number six, you see um, the septum, you open it and you'll see the fat pad. So here in number six, once you see the fat pad, you push it up and under that would be the levator. And in number seven, you can see that um, you dissect the levator off the tarsal plate with a fine scissor. And then this lower part of the levator in blepharotosis is usually thinned out and weak. So you dissect under it till you see healthy, thicker levator. And you can see here, this would be a healthy, thicker levator. And this part is sutured to the tarsal plate from the levator to the tarsal plate and three sutures are placed. And so this corrects the blepharotosis when you're doing a blepharoplasty. Thank you.